Ladies and gentlemen, I'm wearing the same shirt because we didn't change anything about what we were recording because we wanted to make several different episodes where we react to different things. Here's another one. Johnny Tim. I wasn't ready! Johnny, what are we talking about today? I'm sorry. We are talking about Suicide Squad 2. Two squad stew. <laughs> squad stew? It's my favorite kind of stew. This movie is so much fun, you can't pronounce it. <laughs> Suicide Squad. It is a mouthful. Suicide Squad 2. Yeah. Suicide Squad is probably the bulk of the problem, and I don't know why I didn't have this problem before, or nobody talked about it. Probably because it's not a thing, and I just had a miniature stroke. Johnny, what about Suicide Squad 2? Why should people care that we're talking about it now? It has officially, ha officially has a director. Okay. Mr. James Gunn. Mr. James Gunn. Yeah. A person, uh, the, the, the man behind the controversy Correct. of um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Two. Okay. Um, well, I mean, that was three, really. He was directing three, and then the controversy happened. Well, he, dire he directed all of them so far. Correct. Um... Well, almost almost had actors quitting over on the movie mm -hmm. because of the controversy. Um, we're not going to get into the weeds too much about it. Uh, the only thing that I have to say about it is that uh, he he's done some super weird stuff, stuff that I wouldn't expect a children's entertainer. Which, if you make Marvel movies, that's what you do. Um, it, you wouldn't you wouldn't expect to hear this from any other children's entertainer. But the man has not been convicted of anything. Right, I think... Innocent until proven guilty. Right, right. I think we can all agree it was weird that he didn't delete the tweets. <laughs> no. um, but uh, he is a good director. We, I think we'd agree on that, too. So, so hereafter, we'll be, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be passing judgment based upon his merits as an artist. Right. Because we don't actually know the guy. Right. Um, Guardians <clears throat> 2 was fun. But it missed some of the. It, it, it. I think it missed the magic of the first one. I think. I think really, what the question is, is DC now going to get better because of him? The DC movies. Uh. No. 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 You don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, because DC, like, it, it's it's obvious to me that Suicide Squad one didn't come from people with a vision. It came from a board of directors that wanted something similar to uh, to Guardians of the Galaxy, while um, while hitting an R rating, so we can tap the edgier, you know, adults only crowd. Um, and but here's the thing: here's, it was it was soulless. I think I think it didn't have a, it didn't have a voice. I, I'm going to take the opposite uh, stance here because I think he he will make the DC universe better. And the reason I say that is not only because he's directing, but that paired with them, DC taking an obvious pivot in the way that they are doing their movies now. Uh, I think that they will attract a bigger, better, what's, better what's the audience. Pivot? I don't see the pivot. The pivot is, well, if, did, you, did, you, did you, have you seen Aquaman yet? No. Okay then. Well, what they're doing, what they've been oh, trying to do. Oh, but I do, I do know that that movie was just a big cluster of trying to hit every market. Yeah, so, yeah, but they're also, but they're also so worse. <laughs> but you're describing something worse. Okay. Well, see, I think it all depends on your point of view because I, I, that's right, me, Johnny Dim. You have Aquaman like a sixty-five. I know, I get it like a 38. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 100. That's how we rate things here. Arbitrary numbers. So, no, I like the direction that, the, uh, that, that Snyder was taking the, the DC Universe from the beginning. And I wanted to see it through to the end. And I think we prematurely just shit Same. all over that parade. And I think that it would have been nice to see that all the way through because I like the series, the darker, all that kind of stuff. I like what they were doing. I thought the, the CG was was um, jarring at times, but I think... Perfect. In, 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 impressive. In, uh, in Justice League, it was just perfect, the way that they use CG. Uh, yeah. we, we've talked about that before, but then again, but, okay, so my, often, for, uh, often for anybody, the first video, the, the, this video can be somebody's first video. Yeah. And uh, what we said at the time was that it was fun to see the C, for them not to be afraid of the CG and just use it for whatever. Right, and I believe one of the quotes we had from that, that episode was that Justice League was the most comic book movie we'd ever seen. Yeah, because they're right. likely to do things 
Maybe. They were ridiculous things, but they were what superheroes like do they in would, comics. They would CG Batman's yeah. cape while he's just sitting there yeah. because they wanted to make it look crazier because that's how Batman's cape always looks like comics. It's always fluttering around. Especially in Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. Yeah. It was, that was, it's, it, it's an artistic medium, the comic books, and they try to bring that to the screen, and they did that pretty well, visually. Okay. Uh, but my, my, okay, so my point was, I wanted to see that through. What they're doing now, because they didn't, those, those uh, movies didn't quite land. They still made money, but they didn't hit did the audience. Did they make money back? I'm, I think they may not have made money back on one of them. I, but I think most of them did. I think oftentimes uh, what what happens is that they they have these social media teams that figure out like what people are saying about the movie, and so regardless of profit margin, they're like, oh, it's a laughing stock. We can't do this anymore. Right. <laughs> Quick, somebody get Pitbull on the line. We have to ruin an 80s song. <laughs> Stat. But my, so my point is is that they. The story so far is that they weren't landing, obviously. Everyone kept saying how much better Marvel was. And there's, a, there's a, just a few people like me that liked them. But um, they weren't maximizing profits, so they are trying to make more likable characters. They're trying to be more in the same vein as Ragnarok and... Suic not Suicide Squad. Uh, Galax uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy Quest. Ga Ga I was about to say Galaxy Quest. <laughs> um, which is, was a fairly successful movie. More of a cult following, though. Yeah. Um, but no, so they're trying to be more like Ragnarok and uh, and the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. They're trying to make more likable, funny characters and situations. Something that people can laugh at, and then you have your action scenes, and uh, and it, and it, they flow pretty well. I mean, they're not bad movies. Ragnarok was a entertaining movie. I thought uh, Ragnarok was I, distractingly funny. Yes, because it, not only that, but you also were saying that it was not Thor. No. Because it, it changes the character. But that... They can do that. I mean, they can take these are their property. They can do whatever the hell they want. They can just just to sell tickets, and that's what they're trying to do. Yeah. And they're competing. Um, and and I don't I don't think DC and Marvel are really technically competing directly, but uh, DC in some ways is trying to play catch up. Yeah. Um. And and you're right about that because to say that you're competing with something is to suggest that somebody is going to go use your product instead of someone else's. Right. Like, oh, if you saw Spider Man, you got your Superman fix. Darn. Right. No. <laughs> this is it's they're kind of like they're kind of like a bug's life and ants in a way. Well, okay, those... because they came out around the same time and I think one was inspired by the other, but that's really them just picking picking backing off the the concept of a bug movie and they helped each other. Did they help each other? I I, I they had to have. No, I'm pretty sure a bug's life killed ants. Okay, you might be right. Yeah. But it was also better. And, Oh, and and that's happened several times. Uh, they, there was a weird relationship between the Truman Show and Ed TV. Yeah. Uh, for the same reason, uh, and neither of them did very well. That's true. <laughs> um, and, and like the and like when you don't have a big following like that, that's definitely something that could happen. Of course, we were in a very different time as far as you know viewing movies was concerned. I'll say this: broader strokes. This is my first idea that I was going to say to, to kind of do like a comparison here. Um, what if a rom com comes out? Two rom coms uh, come out in the same year. Oh, yeah, total throwaway movies. You're gonna see one or the other. Right. They're not necessarily competing. Right. They're just in the same genre. No, no. Those two are competing. You think so? Yeah, because you'll see one or the other. You won't see both. I will see neither. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch rom coms in the if, theater. If you're on principle. If your choice is if your choice is uh, sixty nine belly chains, or <laughs> Mystic Ramen whichever one like you're gonna go watch it and you'll forget about it completely yeah you know if it was a special date you might buy the dvd sure it's never going to be in a box set it's never going to be a part of an extended universe you're never going to buy dlc for a video game based upon it also they don't make them anymore romantic comedies i don't they that they if you look at the number of romantic comedies that were made in the first years of, the, of this millennia uh-huh Versus the last five years, yeah. What no about way. How to Be a Latin Lover? That, that's Bell. that's the very one of the very few you can name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about L.A. But Confidential? Back then you had like Fifty First Dates, and you had some big ones that actually people really caught on. Uh, was that the? Well, they were good. Yeah, yeah Fifty First Dates was good. No, oh. yeah, no, it was a good movie. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying they don't make as many as they used to. Yeah. Um, we are detracting from the point. Oh, so far away. And I think that the 
I think that the director, which is actually what we're still talking about, is Suicide Squad has a director, right? Uh, was only one thing. Yeah. What's the other thing about Suicide Squad that makes it relevant to talk about today? No, I think that was it. Oh no! As I stand in line for chicken wings I saw my bagel getting dry as it could get What could I do? The butter was all gone And the margin too What can I do?